Hello, good morning, Jai Hind friends. Today we are going to learn Chapter Two Polynomial of NCERT. Let us discuss Exercise One Two Point Two of NCERT. Question Number One: Find the number of zeros of the polynomial and verify the relationship between the zeros and the coefficients. Let us take first part of it. First part. Here we have given x square minus 2x minus 8. Here we know that the factors of 8 are 4 cos 2 is equals to 8. We can take it as like this: x square minus 4x plus 2x minus 8. Take x common from it. We get take x common from we get x minus 4 plus 2 x minus Four. Then we get x plus two and x minus four. We can write x is equals to minus two comma four. When we take x is minus two is equals to zero, we get value of x is equals to x plus two is equals to zero. We get x is equals to minus two. And we when we take x minus four is equals to zero, we get value of x is equals to four. Therefore, the number of zeros of this polynomial is Minus two and minus two and four. Minus two and four. And we know that the sum of the zeros, sum of the zeros is alpha plus beta is equals to minus b by a. Where alpha plus beta, we know that the we know that the polynomial is in the form of a x square plus Alpha plus beta of x plus alpha beta is equals to zero. We are alpha plus beta is equals to minus b by a. We know that the our polynomial is in the form of a x square plus b x plus c. We take the value of alpha plus beta is equals to minus times. B by a minus you know the, our polynomial is x square x square minus 2x minus 8. Now put the value of minus b here. We get minus times of minus 2, and the value of a is 1 here. We get alpha plus beta is 2. We get alpha plus beta is 2. Now product of zeros. Product of zeros is nothing but alpha. Product of zeros is nothing but nothing but alpha beta. Alpha beta. The value of alpha is we have taken four, and the value of beta is minus two, which is equals to minus c by a, which is equals to c by a constant term c upon a, the coefficient of x square. C is nothing but our minus eight. And the value of a is one. Similarly, four into minus two is also we get minus eight. Therefore, these two terms are equal, and we get the product of zeros is equals to minus eight. Hence, the relationship between the zeros and the coefficient is verified. We know we have we have from here we have proved that the alpha plus beta alpha is one root, beta is second root. Alpha plus beta. Alpha is four, beta is minus two, is equals to two, and this two is equals to this two. Hence, we verified the relationship between the zeros and the coefficient of the polynomial. Now, now let us come to the next part of the question. Four x s square minus four s plus one is nothing but the power formula of A minus B whole square. A square minus two AB plus B square. When we put two S minus one whole square, we get four S square minus four S plus one. Same as this. Therefore, by equating the given polynomial to zero, we get on equating the given polynomial to zero, we get the solutions of S. Which is equals to 2s. We can write this whole polynomial as 
टू एस माइनस वन होल स्क्वायर इक्वल्स टू जीरो टू एस माइनस वन इज इक्वल्स टू जीरो एस इज इक्वल टू प्लस माइनस वन बाय टू देर फोर द नंबर ऑफ जीरो देर फोर द जीरो वन बाय टू एंड माइनस वन बाय वन माइनस वन बाय टू देर फोर द जीरो वन बाय टू एंड माइनस वन बाय टू Now let's come to the part three of this question. Six x square minus three minus seven x. So we can write this as like this also. Six x square minus seven x minus three. Six three is a eighteen. Six three is a eighteen. We can write eighteen is nine two is a eighteen. We can write seven x as minus nine x. Plus two x and write three as it is and six x as it is. Take common three form from it. We get three x is common. Two x minus three plus one. Two x minus three. We get three x plus one and two x minus three. Therefore, the value of x is minus one by three and three by two. Here we get the zeros of the given polynomial. Now let's now verify the relationship between the number of zeros and the coefficients of the polynomial. Sum of the zeros, sum of the zeros is nothing but alpha plus beta. Alpha is our minus one by three and beta is three by two. On adding these two terms, on adding minus one by three and three by two, taking LCM. Of these two terms, we get seven by six as our answer, which is equals to minus minus coefficient of our x is seven. Coefficient of our x is minus seven. Coefficient of our x is minus seven, and the coefficient of x square is six. Therefore, we get seven by six. With this answer is is equals to this term. Therefore, our relationship is verified that the sum of zeros is equal to minus b by a. The sum of zeros is equal to minus b by a, and also the product of zeros is equal to minus three by six. And this minus three by six constant term is minus three, and the coefficient of x square is six. This term is equal to This term. Hence, the relationship between the zeros and the coefficient is verified. Now, let's come to part four of this question. We have four u square plus eight u is equal to four u square plus eight u plus zero. Here we have taken u. The constant term is zero because the constant term is not mentioned in this problem. Therefore, we have taken the constant term as Zero. We take u common from this term. We get four u plus u plus two. On equating both sides by zero, four u square plus eight u is equal to zero. One value of u is zero, and another one is minus two. Therefore, the two uh, sum. Therefore, the two roots of the equation is zero and minus two. And we know that the sum of the zero, zero plus minus two, is equal to minus two. And the coefficient of x, the coefficient of x is our Eight. This minus two is equal to. I'll be now on putting the value in the form of alpha plus beta is equal to minus b by a. Alpha is our zero. Beta is minus two. Minus two, which is equal to minus coefficient of b is eight. Coefficient of a is u four. Minus two is equal to minus two. Hence, the relationship between the zeros and the coefficient is. Verified. Similarly, the product of zero, zero cross cross minus two is equal to zero, and the constant term. We know that the alpha beta is equal to c by a. Alpha is zero cross minus two is equal to c. The value of our c is zero again, and the value of a is four, which is equal to zero. Therefore, this term is this zero is equal to this zero. Hence, the relationship of zeros and the coefficient is verified. Now, let's come to part fifth of this of this question. Here we have given t square plus 
square minus 15 on using the formula we know that the formula a square minus b square a square minus b square is equal to a plus b and a minus b on putting the value in the given formula we get this equation a minus b a plus b since the zeros of the polynomial has are same as root of the given quadratic polynomial t is equal to root 15 t is equal to minus root 15 now let's come to the sixth part of this given question 3x square minus x minus 4 on solving the given questions first we find the roots of the given polynomial and the given polynomial is 3x square minus x minus 4 3 4 are 12 3 4 the 12 we can write 12 as minus 4 plus 3x here we find the root of the polynomial minus 3x square minus 4x plus 3x then only we get the minus x minus 4 on taking x common from here we get 3x minus 4 plus 1 3x minus 4 x plus 1 and 3x plus 4 therefore the value of x is x is equal to minus 1 and minus 4 by 3 therefore the roots of the given polynomial are zeros of the given polynomial are minus 1 and minus 4 by 3 hence we know that the zeros or sum of the zeros of the polynomial sum of the zeros of the polynomial minus 1 plus minus 4 by 3 equals to minus b by a the value of b is minus 1 and the value of a is 3 on taking the LCM, we get here minus 3 plus minus 4 is equals to 1 by 3. Here we get the zeros of the polynomial is three x minus four. Here we get a three x minus four. Therefore the value of x is four by three and minus one. Therefore the value of x is four by three and minus one. On adding these two terms we get four minus three is one by three. So therefore we get one by three. Hence similarly we get the product of the polynomial alpha beta is equal to c by a hence the relationship between the zeros and product is verified alpha the value of alpha is 4 by 3 and the value of beta is minus 1 and the value of c is minus 4 and the value of a is 3 Therefore, from here we get minus 4 by 3 is equal to minus 4 by 3. Hence, this relationship between the zeros and the product is verified. Find the quadratic polynomial each with the given number as a sum and the product of its zeros respectively. Here, the number of roots of the equations are given and we have to find the polynomial of the given equation given roots let alpha and beta be the two roots of the quadratic polynomial p of x let let us consider some polynomial p of x and p of x is equals to a times x square minus alpha plus beta sum of the roots and alpha beta another one root a is their non zero some non zero term we can write it as like this first root is our 1 by 4 first root is our 1 by 4 we put the value of 1 by 4 in place of alpha plus beta like this second root alpha beta is equal to minus 1 we put the value of alpha beta is minus 1 here on taking their LCM we get 4x square minus x minus 4 a 
upon 4 as on taking a is equal to 4. In order to cancel this 4, we take a the value of a is equal to 4. On, we, on taking a is equal to 4, we get the quadratic polynomial this. 4 on taking the value of a is 4 and we get equation up to here 4x square minus x minus 4 upon 4 this 4 this 4 cancels therefore the quadratic polynomial we get this my 4x square minus x minus 4 similarly next question Let alpha, we know that here we have uh, given two roots, root 2, 2 and here we have given two roots, root 2 and root, root 2 and 13. Here we have given two values. Here we have given two values root 2 and 13. Root 2 and 13 are the two roots of the polynomial. We have to find a polynomial for this roots. Let, let us consider P of x be any polynomial. The roots of this polynomial, one root alpha plus beta is equal to root 2 and another one root alpha beta is equal to 13. Let us find the polynomial for the given roots. Let A be the non-zero, any real number, non zero any real number on finding this root we get x square minus root 2 we put the value of root 2 in place of alpha alpha plus beta and the value of 13 in place of alpha beta we get this equation on taking a the value of a as 3 we get the quadratic polynomial as 3x square minus 3 root 2x plus 3. Let us come to the next question. We know that here the alpha beta are the roots of the quadratic polynomial p of x. Let us take some quadratic polynomial p of x. P of x a x square minus alpha beta plus alpha beta. Here P of x is equal to alpha beta is nothing but the sum of zeros 1 root which is equal to minus 1 by 4 which is equal to minus 1 by 4 minus 1 by 4 and another one root is and another one root is 1 by 4. On putting the value of alpha plus beta minus 1 by 4 in this polynomial and the value of 1 by 4 in this another one root. We get this minus, this minus and this minus gives us answer plus and 1 we put in place of alpha plus beta we get 1 by 4 of x and 1 by 4 is our constant term. On taking the value of a is equal to 1, we get our quadratic polynomial as x square minus x plus 1. We know that alpha beta is the root of, are the zeros of the quadratic polynomial. Then, we know that alpha and beta are the zeros of the quadratic polynomial. Let us take one quadratic polynomial this. A is a non-zero real number. Alpha and beta is a root and the alpha beta is a product of the roots. On putting the value of alpha plus beta is zero. On put the value of alpha beta in the given polynomial, we get here, put it here. We get answer as zero and root five as a constant term here. We get x square plus root 5a on taking the value of a is equal to 1. We get the polynomial as x square plus root 15. We know that if alpha and beta are the root zeros of the quadratic polynomial, 
then the we know that the general quadratic equation is like this the general quadratic equation is like this the sum of the zeros sum of the roots of the equation alpha plus beta is 1 and the product of the roots is product and the product of the roots is alpha beta is 1 hence the quadratic polynomial on putting the value of alpha plus beta in, in place of this term and the value of alpha beta here in this term we get the our polynomial is x square minus x plus 1 on taking the value of a is equals to 1 we get the equation of our polynomial is x square minus x plus 1 we know that alpha and beta are the zeros of the quadratic polynomial here we know that now the general equation of quadratic polynomial is this p of x a x square x minus alpha plus beta of x plus alpha beta where a is some non zero real number now the sum of the zero roots alpha plus beta is equals to Minus fourteen is equals to minus fourteen, and the value of alpha beta is fourteen. On putting the value of minus fourteen in place of alpha plus beta, and the value of alpha beta fourteen in place of alpha beta, we get the our polynomial as like this: a x square plus fourteen x plus fourteen. Where on taking the value of a is equals to four, we get. the quadratic polynomial as which satisfying the given condition as 4x square plus x plus 1 we know that alpha and beta are the zeros of the quadratic polynomial here we know that the quadratic polynomial We know that the our general equation of the quadratic polynomial is like this: where a is non-zero real number, sum of the roots of the equation is alpha plus beta is four, and the product of the roots is one. We take alpha plus we take minus four, we take in place of alpha plus beta we write as four, and the value of alpha beta as one. X square minus four x plus one. On putting the values, we get the our polynomial as like this. On taking a is equals to one, the value of a we take one, then we get our polynomial as x square x square minus four x plus one. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe the channel. Thank you.